Hello, welcome to NetVN channel. In this video I show you how to build a free private cloud server. Here I use a desktop computer and a 240 GB solid state drive. I will install Ubuntu OS for this desktop. To create the Ubuntu installer I used a 64 GB USB drive. You need a USB drive of at least 4 GB to create a bootable installer. You go to the homepage and download the latest Ubuntu server installer. Next I used Rufus software to create a bootable installer. You open Rufus software, select the USB drive and browse to the downloaded ISO file. It will take about 5 minutes to create the Ubuntu installer. After getting the desired USB stick you plug it into the target computer and start installing the operating system. I connect the solid state drive to the target computer. At the end of the video I will connect more traditional hard drives to increase the storage capacity of this cloud. Connect the USB drive to the target computer and access the UEFI BIOS. You set up the target computer to boot from the Ubuntu installer. Save your changes and restart your computer. Now you follow these steps to install Ubuntu server. You set the language, keyboard. I recommend you to set up a static IP address for this cloud host. Although with this guide you do not need to forward ports on the router, you should still set up the IP address for the Ubuntu server. You format the hard drive and partition in default mode. You are required to create a new admin account and name the Ubuntu server. This username and password is used in the next step so don't forget it. To access from another computer to configure and install software so you enable SSH server. The settings are done, now you can start installing Ubuntu server on the target computer. It will take about 10 to complete. You wait until a screen asks to restart the computer. I finished the Ubuntu server installation so I removed the USB stick from the computer and rebooted. You use the admin account created during installation to log in Ubuntu server. Next you use the command host name strike through capital I to check the IP address of the server. I switch to another Windows 11 computer and remotely access the Ubuntu server. Windows 11 computer and Ubuntu server in the same local network. On a Windows computer, Open a command prompt and access the Ubuntu server using a command called SSH. You use the IP address and admin account to access the target computer. Before installing the software you update and upgrade the Ubuntu server operating system. To access the cloud storage over the internet I use the Zero Tier service. Zero Tier will create a virtual private network on the internet so you can remotely access the cloud storage server. I finished installing Zero Tier on Ubuntu server. Next you create a virtual private network using the Zero Tier service. You create a new zero-tier account. 
In this case I use a Google account and create a new zero tier account for free. After successfully logging into zero tier, I create a new virtual private network. You name the newly created virtual private network. Devices will connect to this network using the network identifier. Each zero tier virtual private network has a different network identifier. The Ubuntu server has joined the newly created virtual private network. On the management page of zero tier, you authenticate the Ubuntu server. So the Ubuntu server has successfully joined the virtual private network. Each device that joins the zero tier network will be assigned an IP address. You check the IP address of the Ubuntu server and you will see a new IP address appear. That is the IP address provided by Zero Tier. In this part I will show how to install Nextcloud on Ubuntu server. Nextcloud is a free solution that helps you build a personal cloud storage server. You install Nextcloud on Ubuntu server with a single command. Next, you create a new admin account for Nextcloud. You can change the username and password as you like. On a Windows computer, open any browser and access Nextcloud using the local IP address. By default you can't access Nextcloud so you add trusted domains. You can add individual trust domains or do it my way to allow all. A login screen appears, you use the newly created account to log in Nextcloud. So you've got a cloud server, but it's only accessible within the local network. For remote access you enable HTTPS. HTTPS helps you encrypt files when transmitting on the internet. Next you allow port 80 and port 443 to go through the firewall of Ubuntu server. So I have finished setting up HTTPS for next cloud. So how do you access this cloud storage server from outside the internet? You can access it using your computer or smartphone. In this case I use a smartphone. On your smartphone you install an application called Zero Tier 1. This app is available on Play Store and Apple Store. You open the app called Zero Tier 1 and connect to the virtual private network using the network identifier. Next cloud server and smartphone join a virtual private network so they share the same network identifier. Just like the Ubuntu server, on the Zero Tier management page you authenticate to allow the smartphone to join this network. So there are two devices that have joined this virtual private network. Each device is assigned a different IP address. Although the two devices are separated by the internet, they join a virtual private network using the zero tier service. So the smartphone can connect to the cloud storage server using the IP address provided by zero tier. On next cloud you can create more users. 
in this case on smartphone connect to next cloud server using admin account. Smartphone successfully connected to next cloud server from outside internet using zero tier. After successful connection I will upload some files to next cloud server. Files are being uploaded. From a Windows computer in the local network I check the results. As you can see the files are successfully uploaded over the internet. Thank you for watching, don't forget to like and help me 600,000 followers. In this section, I will introduce how to optimize the storage capacity of the cloud server. As you can see with a 240GB solid state drive I only have one cloud server with a capacity of 85GB. To make the most of your hard drive's capacity, use the following commands. After using the two commands you refresh the next cloud management page and you will see the change. Now next cloud storage is 199 gigabytes. Significantly more than 85 gigabytes. As mentioned at the beginning of the video I will show you how to connect more media hard drives to increase cloud storage capacity. Here I have a traditional hard drive of size 1 terabytes. You can use a larger sized hard drive if you want. Have you checked to see if the computer has detected the new hard drive? Ubuntu server detected the new hard drive, it's named SDB. Before adding it to next cloud you format and create a partition. You use the fdisk command to delete old partitions and create a single partition. You create a new partition and save the changes. Newly created partition named SDB1. Next you format the partition named SDB1. This partition is formatted as EXT4. Next, you get the identifier of the newly created partition. You use the partition's identifier to mount a directory. This is the identifier of the newly created partition. Next you create a new partition to mount with the newly created partition. I create a new folder named disk2. Next you open the file called fs tab. This file will help you mount folders and partitions of your hard drive. Here I mount the partition named SDB1 and folder named disk2. Then you use the key combination CRTLO to save the changes and use the key combination CRTLX to close the file named FSTAB. Next you use the mount command to apply the change.
On the next cloud management page, I will show you how to add a traditional hard drive to the cloud storage system. First of all, you enable next cloud to connect to external storage. You will be asked to enter the admin password to activate. Next you add storage for next cloud. You choose the storage type as local. Next you set the path to the folder named disk2. You name this storage and save the changes. As you can see there is an extra folder named disk2. You can upload or download files in this folder. Can you upload or download files in this folder from outside the internet? The answer is yes. On my smartphone I connect to the next cloud server from the internet. From the next cloud app on my smartphone I upload some files to a folder called disk2. As you can see, the files are being uploaded. You can add more hard drives to increase next cloud storage in the same way. Thank you for watching the whole video, don't forget to subscribe. Good luck. With this way you can build a cloud storage server without port forwarding on the router.